Hello everybody, what is going on? It is your boy C4 here and today we're continuing my Madden 15 projected ratings breakdown as we are on the Buffalo Bills. So as always, make sure you uh, leave a comment in the comment section below if you think someone should be upgraded or downgraded from my rankings or my ratings. I really want to hear what you guys think. So without further ado, going into the quarterback position, we gave EJ Manuel a 77. I believe that, you know, barring that injury that he had, EJ Manuel looked pretty friggin' good considering how shaky that off offensive line was there in Buffalo. Finishing the year with 11 touchdowns to 9 interceptions and only 10 games started. I think they did get the steal of the draft. You know, everyone thought when he was getting drafted, you, know, you gotta go Geno Smith, you gotta go Geno Smith. EJ Manuel was a sleeper for me. I think he will uh, have a good bounce back year this year. At running back, CJ Spiller, we gave him the 88, even though he was outshined by Fred Jackson last year. They have a great two-headed running back tandem. CJ Spiller may be the fastest running back in the league. Still finished with 1,100 yards, but only two touchdowns, which it was a little disappointing. But the boy Fred Jackson, the ageless wonder of himself at a kill college, gave him the 87 overall after he finished the year with 1,200 yards and 10 touchdowns. Really picked up the slack when CJ Spiller got hurt and was unable to regain any sort of form. Uh, great two-headed running back tandem there. They also got Bryce Brown recently acquired from my Philadelphia Eagles. So expect him to have some sort of production there for the Buffalo Bills this year. Uh, wide receiver, we gave Mike Williams, the recently acquired wide receiver from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We gave him an 83. Uh, I think this is a little bit generous because I have been a fan of Mike Williams. I, I love that one year he came on uh, with uh, Tampa Bay. Struggled a little bit last year, but still uh, as a talented wide receiver. But again, this is a rating that could be debated. It could be like He could be like a high 70s. But the boy, Sammy Watkins, the rookie, the first-round pick that they really went all out and got, traded two first-round picks for him, 82 overall, uh, gave Robert Woods a 75. Uh, you know, definitely has a whole lot of upside being a talented wide receiver out of USC. Uh, yeah, moving along. Tight end, we gave Scott Chandler an 81. Uh, again, a very, very solid tight end, good blocking, good hands. Had 655 yards, two touchdowns last year. Uh, so I believe uh, that's a fair rating for him. Uh, Cordy Glenn was really the only good... Uh, offensive lineman they had last year, so that's why we rewarded him with an 88 overall. Uh, left guard, you know, whoever the fuck that is, Doug Ligurski, we gave him a 74. Uh, Eric Wood, center, 82. Kevin er or Craig Urbeck, we gave him a 78. Right guard, right tackle, Eric Pierce, 79. Now, the defense of the Buffalo Bills last year is where they made their money. I mean, if their offense, if they can sure up their offensive line, they have a very, very good defense, very underrated as well. Uh, Jerry Hoos, we gave him the 90 overall after he still pulled in 10 sacks last year and uh, almost 50 tackles. Great year for Jerry Hughes after, you know, really kind of failing at uh, Indianapolis when he got drafted from the Colts. On the opposing end, Mario Williams, we gave him a 92 after he finished with 13 sacks. Very, very hot start to the year. A lot of people thought that he had a chance to really push that sack record. Uh, defensive tackle, just, ah, man, they have a fucking sick defense. Uh, we gave Kyle Williams a 95 after he finished with 10 and a half sacks. Uh, and uh, 60, almost 70 tackles, total tackles. And Marcel Darius uh, with a 91 after he finished with seven point seven and a half sacks as well, uh, 70 tackles. Great interior, uh, interior defensive line there uh, for the Buffalo Bills. Outside linebacker, we give Keith Rivers an 80 overall. Uh, we gave Kiko Alonso an absolute steal, an 89 overall. I'm not really sure where Brandon Spikes is going to be able to fit in the mix, maybe move him to right outside linebacker or something like that. But Kiko Alonso was an absolute steal. I uh, loved him at Oregon. Finished the year with two sacks, uh, over 100, what is that, 130, 140 total tackles, four interceptions. This guy's an absolute playmaker and a great diamond in the rough for the Buffalo Bills. Uh, right outside linebacker, we have Nigel Bradham, a 77. Uh, what did he do this year? He didn't do much last year. I don't know what about that rate. He might have to fix that. He only had like 40, 50 tackles. Uh, corner, we gave St uh, Stephen Gilmore, the former first-round pick of the South Carolina, an 85. Uh, you know, solid. He had two interceptions last year, 35 tackles. Corey Graham, an 83. I believe he came over from uh, the Baltimore Ravens, their big free agent signing. Uh, Nikel Roby, 75. I like him. I think he's a great nickel corner. Uh, no name, pun intended. Free safety, Denoris Searcy. Had a pretty good year last year, 76 overall uh, for having three and a half sacks. And uh, just over 60 ta uh, 70 tackles. Strong safety, Aaron Williams, 79 overall. He has big shoes to fill now that Jarius Bird has left for the New Orleans Saints. Uh, kicker, Dan Carpenter, 81. And punter, Brian Mormon, 73. But there you have it. Those are your Buffalo Bill ratings. And as always, 
Uh, leave a comment in the comment section below if you think anyone should be upgraded or downgraded. As always, make sure you hit that like button so I know you guys like these videos and you want me to do them so when I get to your team. Uh, until next time, though, it is your boy C4 saying peace out, guys.